Let's draw the graph for the linear equation y equals 2x plus 1. And we'll use two complementary ways. We'll do one way, and then we'll check our work with the other. So first off, we could draw this table here and just put values in for x and see what happens. So I'm going to start with 0. I could choose any number, but I know if I use 0, it's probably going to be closer in this area down here and it won't go off my graph. So if x is 0 here, I'll have y equals 2 times 0 plus the 1 here. And 2 times 0 is 0, and plus 1, that's 1. So I'll have x is 0, y is 1, 0, comma 1. And then I can just plot that. So I'll come over to my graph, and here's the x-axis. So I'm going to go x is 0. And then on the y-axis here, I'm going to go to 1. So we have our first point. Now we can just put some other numbers in. Since that worked out pretty well, I'm going to put in a 1 and a negative 1. That'll give me this. So now I can plot these points. I have 0 and 1. I've done that. Now I go on the x-axis to 1, and I'm going to go to 3 on the y-axis right here. So with two points, I could draw the line, but I'd like to get a third point in case I made a mistake. So here I have minus 1, minus 1. So I can put the negative 1 here and go down. And now I could draw a line through these three points here. And this is the graph for y equals 2x plus 1. We could even put a little arrow on the end to show that it keeps going. If we kept putting values in for x and getting values for y and we graphed these points here, they would be along this line here. Let's do another method to check our work. I like this method better. It's quicker once you've learned it. So we use what's called the slope intercept format. We have y equals 2x plus 1, and the general format is y equals mx plus b. So b is the y-intercept. That's where our line is going to cross the y-axis. And we can see if we go to y equals 1 right here, that's where we cross the y-axis. So b is 1. That makes sense, and it matches what we found before. For m, that's the slope. We're thinking about rise over run. So we can take this 2 and put 2 over 1. It's still 2. It's just written a little differently. Now we have rise over run. So we're going to go up 2 and over 1. Let's start here. We go up 1, 2, over 1. Hey, there's our point. We go up 1, 2, and over 1. And we can keep doing that to get our line. Likewise, we could go down, since we're going in the negative direction, down 1, 2, over 1. Down 1, 2, over 1. 1, 2, over 1. And we could just keep going. But you see all of these points are on our line for y equals 2x plus 1. So what I like to do is use this method. It's quicker once you learn it, and then I'll put some points in just to make sure they fall along that same line. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals 2x plus 1. Thanks for watching.